in almost all robotics competition there is a part of line following robots which is very important from learning perspective robots in these competition will have such behavior of following the line smoothly fastly and accurately by building these robots you learn control systems robot design and programming in robot designing you need to take care of detection of the line and that is mostly done through ir sensors on the ground really close to the ground and also on the front of our robot from a distance now we can see this arrangement in most of the robots that are fast and they appear in the competitions on our robot we also have the same arrangement of the sensors we are using five sensor array of ir sensor but added an oled display to test and learn the values that are produced through control system equations now let's take a look at programming perspective here we can see a robot is following a line but doing a terrible job it is proper doing oscillations and behavior is not desired which is causing some problem although still it is following the line let's take a look on to another part on the other side we have this robot with a behavior which is much smoother faster and non-oscillating that is obtained with pi controller implemented on it now before going into the pi controller we need to understand the error definition that we have we have five sensors two on the left two on the right middle one is on the line so when the middle one is on the line then the error is zero given that other are not on the line that's how we propagate the error the middle one and the right one is on the line the error is positive and so it increases until unless six value is given to the error going into the opposite side the left sensors are on the line meaning you have negative errors so with these errors it is going to take a reaction to turn left or right in a nutshell if all of the left sensors are on the right robot have to take left turn that's how the error is defined complex part is to define the error in your code and that is directly proportional to the arrangement of sensors you have and keep in mind that you are not confined to have only p and i controller upon the error you can stack up the controllers as well for faster responses and there are a lot of arrangements that people have already done from these controller in competitions in control system theory this is the equation for a pid controller kp is multiplied by e k i is multiplied by the integral of error and k d we are not using the d or differential controller we are only using kp and k i controllers first let's take a look how these are implemented in the code in the part of motor control we can see the integral error here is added and constrained because of the pwm limitations integral error is continuously added or subtracted depending upon the value proportional controller is just kp multiplied by the direct now the problem with only kp is it is reactive because whatever error comes it is multiplied by the gain and it is fed into the total error so it is reactive and attaining steady state is hard for it oscillations are a lot as we can see here the robot moves and only with proportional controller it is reactive this jerking is happening you can see on the turns it moves forward and then takes the turn which makes it undesirable for that purposes we have integral controller which is continuously accumulating the error meaning it is continuously adding the error and this value is then multiplied by the gain and it eliminates the steady state error and compensates for drift or some dynamic pushes and with the complete pi controller we can see our robots behavior is much more smoother with only pi controller in following the line and we can see that integral increases the error until unless the error is reduced when building this robot you need to understand the equations from theory perspective and the system responses and how does it actually affects the robot's behavior now there are a lot of things that i have not yet discussed specifically the looping frequency your microcontroller computational power sensor data reading speed and robots dynamics 
and after these comes the gain constants of proportional controller and integral controller the kp and the ki these two values are really important in robots behavior now this is a demonstration that gain values are very small and robot was following the line once the error overshoots it was unable to converge good understanding of robot design and sensor arrangement control system theory that we have not discussed in this video implementing the algorithm in programming all of these are combined to make a good line following robot or in a general any mobile robot that is accurate and responsive and not oscillating in its behavior that's what control systems deals with